In this tutorial we'll create a shader like this one. By the way, thanks for all your requests and support for this channel, you're great. Ok, let's go! Visit the gadushader.com website. It's a great site where you can find a lot of shaders. Let's find the dissolve shader and copy it. Open the Gadoo, add a sprite to your scene, in your sprite go to the inspector, material, new shader material, click it. Go to the shader, new shader, click the shader. Copy the shader in the new window, save it. Now we need to create a noisy texture. Go to the shader param, click the dissolve texture, new noise texture, go to noise. New open simply noise. Now you can play with dissolve value and see the effect. Congratulations! Yay! Awesome! You have a working shader. But what just happened? This shader is a fragment shader. It means that will work only for colors pixels. For example, vertex shaders are used for move the pixels. For example, simulate the wind. The main trick of this shader is a noise texture. An easy way to see the texture which we are using is to change this line. Color is a noise texture. We are using this texture to tell the shader which areas it needs to be transparent at first. As you can see, the dark areas are transparent earlier. Now when you see the texture, you can play with the parameters. In general, that is the way how this shader is working. If you feel a little confused, don't worry, more examples are coming. For better understanding, I will change noise texture to be a gradient texture. And let's see how it's working now. The sprite disappears from a darker to a brighter area of the gradient. We are using the light volume from the texture to tell the shader what to do. This line is to get the current point of the texture. In my case, it's a point of Gadoo icon PNG. VEC4 type has a 4 types, red, green, blue and alpha colors. Let's play with them. For example, let's make red for the main texture to 100%. We can do this by 1.0 units. We changed the red color for all pixels and didn't touch the blue and green. That's why we still have the different colors. If we'll change the green and blue colors to 0, we'll have only red sprite. This line is also taking the color points, but from the loaded texture. Now we can combine two textures. Let's use RGB from noise texture into the main texture. Now we have a gradient sprite. We can use this gradient in many ways. For example, let's change the alpha volume. In general, sprite has zero alpha where it's transparent and one when it's not. When we'll use alpha equal to one zero for every pixel, we will lose the transparency. As the next step, let's use the red volume from the gradient and set this in our alpha volume. And now we have the gradient alpha texture, but we still don't have the transparency on the borders. We need to change the equal to be multiplied by itself. In this way, we just multiply the red volume by one or zero. So at the end, we'll not lose the transparency of the sprite. Now the tricky part. Let's use the dissolve volume in this calculation. We need to use floor function. It is for rounding down the numbers. And we have a working shader. For all numbers below the dissolve volume will give alpha equal to zero. So when it's zero, it will be transparent. Now let's go back to the noise texture and everything is working. You can also use this shader in the animation player. Thanks for watching. You are great. Like the video if you like it or dislike if you didn't. Have a nice day and so on.